Last weekend, at the United Methodist Church in Saugus, American Cancer Society and Relay for Life hosted an annual holiday boutique that benefits cancer research. Well, what's really cool about this event, we have several of our Relay for Life teams here who are selling stuff here and raising that money back towards the American Cancer Society for their research, uh, education, advocacy, and service for patients. At the boutique, the event organizers share how the American Cancer Society has helped them when people they know have been affected by cancer. I handle uh, special events pre-relay, and I became involved when I met a young woman named Heather Warwick um, and find out, found out that she had been diagnosed with breast cancer um, at the age of 19. And I was so devastated at the fact that someone so young could have something so serious, I decided to commit myself to trying to help find a cure. Cancer affected me first when I was age 10 and I lost my best friend to brain cancer and I didn't understand why there wasn't a medicine or a cure and I never forgot that so that's kept me going all this time. At this boutique, there are still items such as tiles, DVDs, gemstones, holiday decorations, and even war memorabilia. Vendors pay a fee to set up a booth, and they also donate an item or service to the raffle. Raffle tickets are sold by event organizers to bring in more money for cancer research. I've been doing the, almost every year doing the raffles, which benefits my relay team. Um, and I, I do all the raffles for all the uh, Relay for Life events. Ford vendor, who is already in up, says he's also been affected by cancer, and selling items here for the first time means a lot to him. So we landed the Marines on the beaches and took them up to the jungle rivers and uh, we were their mothership. Even though the holiday boutique event is now over, you can still show your support for the American Cancer, Cancer Society on May 6th at Central Park. Live for News, I'm Joan Osorio.